Hello everyone, welcome back to Rolling Solo. My name is Adam Smith and we're going to be unboxing Grimslinger's The Northern Territory. This is essentially part two of an unboxing that I've already done for the original Grimslinger's. So if you haven't checked that out and you want to see the original box opening as well as some of the promo cards that I got during one of the Kickstarters, this one here is for the most recent Kickstarter edition which is the Northern Territory box. So uh, again, I don't know how this one actually impacts or changes the original game just yet, although that's the whole point of uh, acquiring these so I can jump into them and play them. But uh, what we're going to end up doing here is cracking at the box open and finding out what's inside. So the first thing I'm going to do is just read a little bit about the back. Uh, the game is designed here. It says designed, illustrated, and written by Stephen S. Gibson. So that's pretty cool. I'm going to take a look at the side here. Actually, I'll show you the side first, but it says the versus mode is 15 to 30 minutes, two to four players, uh, age 14, and then co-op is 60 minutes to one and one and four players. Greenbrier, uh, Greenbrier Games, I always get that tongue twisted up. It is an expansion, so that's good to know. And these are the guys, uh, publisher-wise, that brought to you uh, Folklore of the Affliction, if you're familiar with that. Uh, so this is the back of the box, and again, the artwork in the game is very, very cool and interesting. It says here, the Grimslingers, the Northern Territory is an expansion to the Grimslingers core game, which refines and redefines all aspects of the game while adding more of what players love, improved gameplay and strategic choices in player versus player, along with a plethora of new solo content, uh, solo co-op content for players to delve into for many hours. That's what I love to hear. So this is going to be a great addition to the game so that we can get even more solo play out of it, hopefully during the showcase. Um... Again, the question will be is whether I'll be merging this all in for the showcase or not, but I'll have to take a look at the rulebook and how these two interplay with each other. But that's not what this video is for. This video is to unbox it. So let's get right to it. Cut open the back of the box here and let's find out what's inside. Super excited. It's going to be a ton of cards. I know that. Um, so let's take a look and see what we got. First off, the artwork on the game is very cool, very unique. You're not going to see a game that looks quite like this, that's for sure definitely a pops on the table so we're gonna go ahead and crack into this let's pull the top cover off and here we go nothing underneath of course but stuff inside and there is some room that's fantastic i found that i had some promo cards that couldn't fit in my core game this one doesn't look like it has an insert it looks like it just has a ton of content in there so the first one is going to be a grim slingers rule book i don't know if this is going to be different than the core rule book from the other original game or if this is specific to the northern territory but it does look similar so we got components here what's going to be included it does look different actually so this is probably specific to the northern territory you might guess and there's an idea of what the rule book itself looks like has a very similar look and feel to the original game which is no surprise there so it's got uh, a sparse and uh, light amount of illustrations throughout but then when it gets into areas where illustrations make the most sense it does a pretty good job of uh, showing you how things work so we've got things for the versus set up, target cards, how they work. Uh, there you go, set up the item space map. There's your versus duel section, how to duel. So I'm showing you how to do that. Again, this is going to be the duel side of things. I'm sure at some point during here, this is all elemental stuff. Here we go, solo, solo co-op mode. That's what I'm excited about. So this one I'm going to be reading into for sure. We've got a free roam option and a tall tale campaign. Both of those look really cool. This is how you get started with your new characters, achievement tracker, progress tracker, all that good stuff. Story booklet for chapters, path, parts, how it's all broken down. Area booklet. Oh, this is going to be really cool. Tall Tale Game Space. So there you go. I guess this is how the game's laid out. That's awesome. So anyway, the, car the rule book runs about 38 pages. So I'm going to be diving into that. Looks pretty cool. The Northern Territory Area Booklet. This could be Spoiler Central, I don't know. Uh, but it looks like we got a huge content territory area here listed out. The Northern Territory. So there we go, it's in the Forgotten West. Area Connections, so all the different places you can travel. Red River, Valley of Death, the Gates of Hell, the Down Under, the Northern Outskirts, the Great Deep. I am familiar with the Valley of Death from the previous original game. I don't know if all the rest are new for this. Uh, but Valley of Death is definitely something people are familiar with with the first game. Uh, this is going to be how the area is laid out. I have no idea how this works. Not a clue. But it looks like... I don't know. This is the point of this. It's going to explain it all. So this is the Valley of Death section, the Red River. They're all categorized by colors on the side. And they have the words up top so you know what's what. Um, looks interesting. And of course this is all going to be slightly spoilerish, I guess, in that regard. So I'm not going to spend too much time, time there. This is the Child of Light campaign booklet. So again, very cool artwork. 
And again, I don't want to go through too much of this because this could be also massive spoilers, but some, a massive prologue before you begin the game to read, which is really cool, setting the stage for the game. Uh, it's actually two pages long and then goes into chapter one, We Return. This is actually a preface. Uh, nice, there's a part one. And it starts to follow the same kind of procedure that you guys would have seen from the original game where uh, it shows you how to move progress through the story and everything's broken down in different parts. That's pretty cool. Okay, what's next? Oh, what is this? Okay, so everything here is uh, covered with this slide. This actually reminds me a little bit of uh, Zombicide and how they've got this thing slid here. Oh, wow, this looks really cool. Wow, that's nice. Okay, sorry, before I get super excited, this looks like a an art print at the back, but I'm going to hold that off for the end. So this first off is a passive space reference card, I guess. Or maybe not. Passive space has stashes, discard pile, deactivate. So this is actually used in the game. Uh, maybe it's per player. So each player has a passive space. Um, this is for verses on one side and maybe ones for I don't know I'll have to look into that later but there's one for each character you got HP tracker on the left uh, EP and special trackers on the right a green one pink one these are going to be all the same essentially red Ooh, what's this oh interesting okay so this has a modifier creature portrait dispositions Deactivation pile, discard pile, and active skills deck. All definitely going to be used during the setup. Oh, here's maybe the top section of that. So maybe, maybe, if I'm thinking about this correctly, it sits like this or something. I don't know. Um, but that's cool. So it's got the uh, item deck, the item discard pile, legendary item deck, scavenge field. Same thing, on the, same thing on the back. And then this. This is the artwork. So this is the normal game, or the normal art from the beginning, top of the box. But you flip it over. You get a really, really cool artwork print there. That's really awesome. And it's signed as well with a death face and a uh, slight smile. <laughs> Maybe that's because the game is punishing. I don't know. Okay, underneath of this, you got a, oh, wow. So a whole pad for achievements. So as you go ahead, you pick your player name, you take a character, and you begin your campaign. You go through all these different chapters, all these different areas, and you check them off. That's really cool. And you get a whole pad of them so you can do this multiple times very cool I like that um, I like that sense of progression that way that's really cool so the progress tracker I guess is the similar so we got the player name the character total current PP allocated and uh, acquired beginning your character how, how to do that um, signature spell so this is going to really be your character sheet I guess so passive space size your health points energy points uh, hand size um, and bunch of witchcraft uh, skills red skills all kinds of mind skills everything it's all progress tracker keeps track of all of that you've got another d6 in the box again as i mentioned before now i'm going to tell you guys this right now i don't know if you can see it on camera but it is a little bit off white i know my camera is changing color on me a little bit here but it's off white a little bit this is not perfectly white but anyway regardless i'm going to probably be changing this out for another d6 that i have that's just nicer there are four packs of cards in the box which i'm kind of scared to open because i'm noticing there's no insert for this so they're not going to have anywhere to really stay so i'm going to have to probably um, find a solution for that maybe get a deck box or something that i can tuck into this particular game box but let's crack open the cards and see what's in the decks because i'm sure you guys are interested in that so we'll crack this one off and here we go to the first deck of cards. All right, so we got, uh, oh, there's some playing cards. These are familiar. These are called Fate. I guess it's a Fate deck. So these are really, again, the artwork looks really cool and interesting. We got some question marks on some. A black portal, a blue portal, white portal. Interesting stuff. Adventure turn reference guide. Heart path story marker. Interesting, okay. The uh, llama path, the skull path interesting okay some more cards that are probably going to add into the decks that we already have from the original game these are considered these are the brown back ones if i'm not mistaken and uh, yeah and yeah okay interesting uh blue angel potus wow the artwork's cool as always uh even the original game got me really excited when i was going through this and a whole bunch more cards. Okay, so that's the first deck. The second deck actually looks like it adds into what we just saw because we got some more of these um, cards here again that are going to follow the same thing as a typical playing card deck. But they are called Fate in this one, so that's interesting. I don't know. Oh, that's all it is. So it's really just going to flush out the entire deck. So it's a gigantic pile of literally 
all the fake cards. So that's pretty interesting. I don't know how they're going to be using that in this game, but I like the fact that, I don't know, it just looks cool. That's a really cool, it's a really cool deck. I like it. And the backs of the cards are really cool too. You can even use that for just regular playing cards if you want to. I'd probably sleeve them so they don't get destroyed. Um, here's another deck of cards. This one looks extremely unique, especially the artwork. Very interesting. So let's crack into that and see what it is. Um, Man, the art, I, I've said this so many times, but the artwork really is weird. Uh, there's no other way to say it. It's so different than anything I think most of us are used to. It's got a little, it's just that blend of Western and sci-fi that's just super strange. Um, so the backs of all these cards I've just unboxed uh, right now are all parallel weights, general creature cards, wisps, soul hunters, all kinds of crazy stuff. These are the, this is what you see on the backs of the cards. All right, time to dive into this deck. So here we go. We already looked at the backs of the cards, so let's take a look at the front. So the artwork, that's pretty wild. I don't even, maybe these are creatures again that you run into. They're considered, yeah, they have names on the back. So I'm assuming these are things that you run into. Uh, some mushroom type creature. Wow, what does that say on him? I can't make that out. Whoa, that's crazy. Okay, interesting. And then we got a whole bunch of cards here, which all have stuff in the back. So maybe these are the regular things that you can run into or events. I'm not 100% sure. Someone in the comments can save me right now because I'm not sure what those are. Uh, these are considered Peril Awaits cards. So there's a whole bunch of these, which sounds wonderful because when Peril Awaits, that's, uh, that's always good. So a whole bunch of them. Pretty cool. Artwork is really nice, and I think we have one more deck to go through, which may add into this, or it might even just be something totally different. So let's find out. There's only one way. Here we go. Okay, so back at the... Oh, interesting. Very different card backs on this. Creature Disposition deck. Creature Modifier deck. Very different artwork than what I was used to there. Um, ooh, guns. Bullet Chamber. Okay, Ammo Belt, Bullet Chamber... A Life for a Life, the Ancient One. Wow. Are these skill cards? Okay. Skill cards, skill cards. That's interesting. Okay. I'll show you the other side of it so you can get a, a feel for them. Ghost Mark. Okay. Showstopper, Spirit. Ooh, that's nice. Cat's Bane. Cool. What the heck is that? Some kind of crazy, whoa. Vampirism, that looks aggressive. Overtaking, conflicted, all your depleteds. There's a nice artwork of a gun, that looks really cool. Ammo belt, we've seen that already. Some more things maybe that can just make your life a bad day. <laughs> I'm not sure, but man, the art on this, the, the style of the cards are all so different. It almost looks like when I'm unboxing this, I'm looking at like six different games at the same time because there's so much going on here. So there's going to be a learning curve in terms of understanding what decks go where, but again, you can just always look at the back of them to figure that out. That is basically going to wrap up the unboxing of Grim Slingers, the Northern Territory. Thank you so much for watching, and uh, hopefully this was useful to show you what comes inside the box. As always, keep on rolling solo.